Hey guys, welcome to another Drone Doc episode. I'm your host, The Drone Doc. Today, we're gonna be reviewing this Sandmark ND filter. This is for the Hero 9 and for the Hero 10 camera. Let's get to it. So we just recently picked up this Sandmark ND filter and I'm pretty excited to use it. Um, it's adjustable from ND4 to ND16, so it has three to six stops and you can simply turn the outside ring and adjust the amount of light that gets into your GoPro. Now this fits the Hero 9 camera, it fits the Hero 10 camera, and it also fits this recent GoPro that we picked up, the Hero 10 Bones. This is probably gonna be my go-to setup for any FPV use in the future. The GoPro Bones is super light, combined with a nice variable ND filter, and I'm able to get any type of shot and any lighting condition that I can. One thing I really like about this ND filter um, it's a nice durable aluminum housing. And uh, unlike the other ND filters in the past where you'd have to sit here and fumble with the lens and twist it off and sometimes you'd really have to pressure fit it off and it was real tight. This is nice because it just slides right over the existing lens and you can press fit it in place. You can see that it's a pretty, pretty tight fit. And uh, it just friction fit right in there over the existing lens. So let's talk about the specs. Now, this thing is, well, it's a little bit more expensive than your typical standard fixed ND filter. Um, these are pretty cheap. They're usually around uh, 15 to 20 bucks. Uh, but this one here is, it's about 60 bucks. So it's a little pricey. I would typically use this if I'm going to shoot a commercial or an FPV shoot. Now, I'm not gonna use this um, for my everyday flying where I'm doing flips and rolls and doing FPV acrobatics. I just don't, I just don't wanna break it. It's pretty expensive. But I will say that it has an aluminum housing, so a small tumble in the grass is not going to really damage it. You might have to be a little bit concerned about the glass uh, hitting a rock or tumbling on some uh, some asphalt. You, you may end up damaging it, but that's, that's kind of a given with every ND filter out there. And the specs on the website say that this Sandmark ND filter is 60 millimeters in diameter, so it's a pretty big ND filter. Um, they also quote this uh, weighing at 20 grams. Now, I was a little skeptical when I when I held it in my hand. Uh, this thing actually weighs 36 grams. Now let's do some weight comparison here. The Hero 9 with the Sandmark ND filter and the battery, which is what people are typically gonna fly with, that's about 182 grams. That's pretty heavy. I don't think I'd like to fly with that. Now, if we were to take the battery off, and just use a power adapting cable to the bounce plug of my LiPo, that would get us down to 150 grams. And let's say I use the Hero 9, I remove the sand mark and I put a fixed ND filter on. We're down to 122 grams. Close, but I'd like to be around 100 grams if I can. So here comes the Hero 10 Bones. Now this thing weighs, it's pretty light, it weighs about 64 grams. And if I put the Sandmark ND filter on there, man, right at 100 grams. I mean, you can't beat that. And even if I wanted to reduce some of the weight, I could actually put a, a standard fixed ND filter on there, and that would get me down to 72 grams. And let's say I was flying inside of a, a building or under low light conditions, I might not even choose to use an ND filter, which would bring me down to 64 grams. Now, I think in the future, this is gonna be my go-to setup. This variable ND filter here, combined with the Hero Bones, gives me a nice lightweight action cam that I can put on my FPV drone. So I like to shoot in 4K 30 and 4K 60, and the benefit to this variable ND filter is I can adjust the amount of light coming into the sensor when I'm actually looking at my GoPro app. So when I'm out in the field and I got this camera installed, simply pop on the filter, uh, open the app, and then I can adjust the right exposure for my camera. I wanna thank you guys for joining me for this review of the Sandmark filter. In future episodes, we got tons of new content coming out, everything from ESE deep dives to beta flight software, configuration settings, all that stuff in the future. And I look forward to bringing you guys more content. We'll see you guys later. Drone Doc out.